With a new Progress Daily summer line dropping, I figured why don't we try some traditional advertising in skateboarding, and who is the leader of street culture within skateboarding? Thrasher. I'm joking, Thrasher uploads pretty much the best skateboard content on YouTube on a consistent basis, so of course they have this amazing reputation, but I need to develop a commercial first that's even worth them advertising. Hi, I'm John Hill. We're a skate company full of sexy skater boys and all we wanna do is party. If you like to party, then you'll love our brand. Just kidding, no, we're not, that would, that would be, that might be kind of funny, but let's try something a little more serious and see how that looks and would look. You can never stop getting better at skateboarding, no matter how much you I think you're done. No, you're not. As long as you start from a couple hours every single day, you just take it to like a different route. And to top it all off, I actually have a rider for the company who just finished a new video part. So obviously that would work perfectly. They could upload the new parts. Maybe I can do an ad here and there. I mean, this is like based on, I, I have no idea if they even will say yes to this at all. By the way, I'm sweating because I've been out skateboarding filming for my own YouTube channel, but that, yeah, just to explain why I'm moist. Now, the reason I say traditional skate culture is because Thrasher has been around forever, but now there's so many different outlets where you can promote anything in skateboarding like YouTube channels or like the barracks or, you know, Thrasher, Transworld. There's so many different outlets now that, you know, there, there is no complete monopoly, I think, on skateboarding, like there is in most industries and businesses. Like Nike has a complete monopoly on skate shoes, pretty much. But if anyone did have that monopoly, Thrasher is very close to the top. Historically, Thrasher and YouTubers haven't really collaborated. I don't think I have a single friend who's done YouTube, like Braille Skateboarding, Andy Schrock, etc., who has had any content mixed with Thrasher. And, and neither have I. I've been on their channel, but as a skateboarder, not as a YouTuber, you know? The truth is, I actually don't think I'm allowed to promote anything on their channel. Like, I don't think money or anything would, would let them let me do that because of who I am. But I've been skateboarding for 20 years and I've met so many people in this world. I lived in California for four years and then it hit me. I don't think I know anyone at Thrasher. I started asking around and it's because their team is a lot smaller than you would think for how big of a company they are. But I did finally find someone who knows them and someone who is willing to put in a word for me. But as soon as I sent my friend's part who I was like, this would look good on Thrasher, things started looking a little bleak. And obviously I'm helping out because maybe we could put Progress Daily somewhere in it and you know, it'd be cool advertising. It would just say Progress Daily in a part and it would show that our riders are some of the best skaters on the planet. The other thing that was a little more deterring is that they asked if my friend had traditional sponsors. There are all the companies in California that we all pretty much grew up seeing. A lot of them have gone out of business since I was a kid, but because of that, there's so many small brands that pop up all over the country. The idea is to give an equal opportunity to everyone who lives everywhere else, because if you live in California or New York City, you have this insane advantage in being sponsored by all the companies who were created in those cities. So of course, it's better to have these small brands throughout. But for some reason, that stuff matters. If you have a, a sponsor in some random city, and it's a small company, then other companies might not approve. So it's hard for me to tell my friend who lives in a different state, you should move to California so that you can meet everyone and mesh with everyone, even though you're just as good as anyone else out there, so that eventually one of those sponsors gives you a chance and then you have to go another three years to see if they should turn you pro. It just seems like 
backwards thinking in my opinion. I just feel like if you live in a different city, then you should go through the same process as everyone else. You, you shouldn't have to go through like a 10 times harder process. For me, if you offer good skateboarding, then how can it not just be a win-win? It's an amazing part that will get a lot of views on your channel, so it's cross promotion because you have a lot of subscribers that will watch the video. It's also silly of me to think that I could advertise for free, so I just thought, well, why don't I act like any other company like Nike and all these shoe brands that I see on Thrasher all the time, why don't I just pay for an ad spot? Because that's something that I'm willing to do. First of all, let's go to Thrasher and see how to contact these people. I feel like this is not gonna go anywhere, but we might as well try it. So there were a few contacts. I finally emailed one of them with just a short pitch. So anyways, I'm filming this actually two weeks after I sent that original email and there has been no response. And I understand that the world is chaotic right now. So it's a lot of, it's hard for a lot of businesses to reach back out to people very quickly, but as I was asking through the grapevines of everything and if I could even advertise on Thrasher, I've heard some news that um, it makes sense that they didn't reply to me. The truth is in terms of sheer numbers and attention, there is no reason that someone like me needs to advertise on Thrasher. I could just upload to my own YouTube channel. I could do it on this YouTube channel, Andy Schrock, Braille Skateboarding, any of my friends who are willing to post me who actually have more subscribers and more followers and more eyes than Thrasher themselves. But the thing is, there is sometimes a different audience and I would love for those people who are on Thrasher every day, AKA me, to see apart from my rider to see how good this fool is. What I officially heard is that it's not gonna happen. Uh, there are certain brands that I think won't, you'll just never see on Thrasher. Uh, and it's like a decided thing um, because of certain connections and, and certain things that I do, etc. It's just, it's crazy to think that there is like this giant skate outlet that I'm just like shut off from. It brings me back to when Nigel Alexander and I first talked about me building a YouTube channel. And he said, if you go down this avenue, dude, there's a good chance that you will be blackballed, whatever that means from the skateboard industry. But I've seen countless friends who get completely overlooked no matter how good they are because of their location. And I actually think that it's the only option for a lot of people is to create their own platform. And Thrasher obviously has that street cred. I, I see everyone wearing it like Bieber and Rihanna and Ryan Gosling. But at the same time, uh, Lil Wayne was skating a revive skateboard in his newest music video. So I guess we have a little mainstream plug as well, but it's wild. We have an amazing community. There's a lot of people out there who relate to feeling like the underdog in everything and, and maybe even being in love with an industry and then realizing that that industry at the end of the day will reject you if you're not playing to their rules or catering to their whatever. It's just cool that there are people out there who support because imagine me going through this right now without this, without you humans watching this and being like, yo, we got your back. We've had your back for years. So keep going. Cause people say that to me all the time. And it's like, if it weren't for that, I, this would be very hard. If, if not impossible. That's why I have the team that I have. That's why I'm partnering with Blue Tile Skate Shop is because they have over 30 years of skateboard expertise experience. I am making sure that the team that I have, the people behind the company and the people writing for the company are the best at what they do. I just wanna skate for as long as I can, but I also want people out there to see skating the way that I do, to feel motivated to continue and try to learn tricks the way that I felt growing up. And that motivation just isn't there for a lot of people. So that's why this channel exists. That's why this brand exists progress daily. The idea isn't to be the best tomorrow, it's to improve incrementally every single day. Even if it's this small of an improvement, even if all you did was hurt yourself again on an ollie, you got this much better. And that's progress daily, that's every day, a little bit better. Now I still got some work to do before this video comes out. I am, uh, I'm cramming things in right now. We're going hard right now, trying to build everything we can and the whole team is excited and we got a lot of footage coming out. And there's a lot of people out there shooting photos and tagging us and it's been an incredible journey. If you look at the progress daily hashtag, there's literally over like 40,000 people who are involved. So that's just, we've got, we've got a great, crew of human beings. I also need to come up with a name for the people who are part of this company. I would love to hear your opinions because I saw the hashtag Grizzly Gang the other day and I was like, man, that that works really well. We need a hashtag like that. Something with Progress Daily, like the, uh, the Daisies, Progression, Papayas. I don't know, something, anything that you guys can come up with would be amazing. But I'll see you next time for another video. Right now we're uploading every week to this channel. There's also two videos on my channel, of course, you can check out. And of course, you can follow any of the writers down below. Check out the website, check out the new launch, everything. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pumped, I'm very pumped. So I'll see you next time. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it. Woo!
skating basketball. Just have like, you know, dance or skating is all about. 